Hi, I'm David Fleming from the Disciples Ignited YouTube channel where we are focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom, and preparing his disciples. Today we're going to continue our study on the book of Habakkuk, which is one of the shorter minor prophet books. It's only three chapters, but what powerful chapters they are. And today we're going to really focus in on the main theme of Habakkuk, and that is where the Lord told Habakkuk that the righteous must live by faith. Let me explain. During Habakkuk's time, um, it seemed like the whole world was in an upheaval. I mean, empires were fighting against one another for the uh, position of world dominance. Um, first of all, Habakkuk, as a prophet of the Lord, a man of God, he goes before the Lord and he is disgruntled. He is uh, perplexed. He is uh, per, uh, disturbed, to say the least. And at first, he accuses the Lord for not doing anything. Listen to this. Habakkuk chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. O Lord, how long shall I cry for help and you will not hear? Or cry to you violence and you will not save? Why do you make me see iniquity, and why do you idly look at wrong? Destruction and violence are before me. Strife and contention arise. So the law is paralyzed, and justice never goes forth. For the wicked surround the righteous, so justice goes forth perverted. Yeah, it sounds like Habakkuk is really upset. But you know, he's upset because he is... He feels like the Lord's not doing anything. I mean, the world is falling apart. And, and, and he's saying, Lord, why are you not acting? Why aren't you doing something? Haven't you ever felt like that? Well, Habakkuk did. Well, the Lord answered him. And the Lord said, listen, my, I'm about to do something that you wouldn't even believe unless I told you. And then the Lord went on to explain that he was going to raise the Babylonians up to deal with his people for their own wickedness and their sins and rebellion. Habakkuk responded, Lord, how can you use those who are more unrighteous than we are to, to deal with us for our sins? Well, that's when the Lord replies to Habakkuk and says, Habakkuk, the righteous shall live by faith. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, if there is anything that we need to hear today, it's that. Because there are going to be times that, that we either don't see the Lord acting, and so we're upset because we don't think that he's doing anything, or when the Lord does do something that we don't necessarily like what he's doing. And the Lord's reply to us all is the same as it was hundreds of years ago when Habakkuk the prophet went to the Lord and said, Lord, why aren't you acting? And then later he said, Lord, why are you going to do this? The Lord's answer is always the same. The righteous shall live by faith. We're not always going to understand what Jesus is doing or why he does what he does. Isaiah 55 verses 8 and 9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. You see, we're, we're going to need faith when the Lord is silent. And there are times that he just doesn't answer our questions. But he is acting. We might, and then when we see the Lord acting, sometimes we don't necessarily understand why he's doing what he's doing. The Lord's answer is always the same. Trust me. Trust me. Put your faith in me. That's exactly what we need today. Look to Jesus. Focus on him. And put our trust, put our faith in Jesus. Because he knows what he's doing. Let's talk more about it tomorrow.